Hello and welcome to the Monday, April 17th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Augusta, Georgia. On Friday, NTT Security, a Japanese security company, posted an interesting blog post describing a group of attacks that uses fake Chrome error messages. Now, just about a week ago, we noted that the attack against efile.com used a similar technique. However, these two attacks appear to be not related, at least after the error message, we do see quite different behavior. The attack NTT describes appears to be a step more sophisticated. It does do privilege escalation. Apparently, one way it's doing that is by using vulnerable drivers. But it then also not only installs a crypto coin miner, but it also does use additional techniques uh, to, for example, exempt that crypto coin miner from Microsoft Defender's scans. It'll also schedule itself and then terminate Windows updates. So overall, in particular, the privilege escalation part is quite a bit more sophisticated than the more clumsy malware that we have seen from the efile.com attacker. So these fake error messages, certainly something that you should include in your security awareness uh, presentations. Uh, They do trick the user into installing the malicious update. And that's probably the message to get across here that these error messages, while they look okay, they look uh, like something legitimate, they should never offer a browser update. Now talking about uh, Google Chrome updates on Friday, Google as well as Microsoft for Microsoft Edge announced an update fixing a currently exploited vulnerability in V8, the JavaScript engine. Of course, news like this makes it difficult for users then to figure out, well, what's a real, what's a fake update? The way a user should apply a Google Chrome update, in my opinion, is just by closing and reopening the browser once a day. That really should be taken care of and you shouldn't really get sort of no error messages like these fake ones being used if there is a valid browser update. And last week, I mentioned how Microsoft, as part of Patch Tuesday, released a tighter integration of the local administrator password solution or labs with Windows and Windows Server. Well, uh, the problem with this update is, however, that it may not cooperate well with the legacy lab solution that some people may already have installed. If you're affected by this issue, then you may be seeing in your Windows event logs, the Windows Labs event log IDs 10,031 and 10,033, or the legacy Labs event ID 6. Microsoft has published an article with details regarding this particular issue and how you sort of essentially can pick which version you want to use. I'll link to the article in the show notes. Well, and with Tuesday this week being sort of the final deadline for U.S. personal income tax returns, there's, of course, a lot of pressure here on accountants to finish up uh, these returns. Well, uh, attackers are taking note, and Microsoft has an article about how attackers are using some pretty simple phishing techniques to infect tax professional with Remco's rat. And now I say simple phishing techniques, but in this case, I can really see how they're working. They essentially claim to be a client and they claim to basically attach a tax return or some other uh, paperwork that the accountant may be expecting. So given, of course, that tax professionals uh, these last couple days before the filing deadline are usually under quite a bit of stress to get as many of these returns filed as possible. They may not be that careful and they may even open an email like this, an attachment like this, even if they don't immediately recognize the sender. 
And then we have yet another vulnerability in Manage Engine, this time a command injection. Now it does require authentication in order to exploit the vulnerability, but I'm still mentioning it here, given that Manage Engine has been sort of a big target the last couple of years. And the proof of concept exploit that pretty much tells you everything you need to know is already available. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.